a what is up ak mortals and the valiant rank immortal it's your boy quaxter 27 back with another suggestion sunday straight off the rip here we have idiot stick with his suggestion of i lot of hacking guests use famas so make it so you can't use famas until you have an account keeping these skins behind a lock is most likely not actually to prevent hackers it's more likely to get you to actually create an account which is what they actually desire so they can say that they have so many accounts even if you only play one or two minutes on it also does not solve the problem of hacking as people can hack with or without an account and they can create an account very very easily cold suggestion here is add more limited item shops instead of making everything bundles this is a pretty solid suggestion i'm not a hundred percent sure why they actually added a whole new different shop ui and type just for limited items just to remove it a bit later there wasn't actually too too many shop items but there was a decent amount i don't really know they should definitely bring the limited shop back though this next suggestion here, there was actually a decent amount of people asking for this, so I had to at least include one of these in my video. The suggestion is make black market stuff free, or at least a lot cheaper. Now, I'm going to go against the status quo of 38 to 9 here, and say this is not a great suggestion. The reason is, it will definitely stop a lot of like alts and stuff like that from getting it as it does cost 10k for a lot of these things some of them are 5k and some things like the capes are actually really cheap at only like a hundred if you grind for these items you will definitely have the amount of KR that you need to purchase it such as shuriken you definitely get at least one KR per kill and you have to have 10,000 bullseyes and you have to have 10,000 KR to purchase it so you would definitely have enough KR if you didn't waste it on other things Anyways, our next suggestion comes from Bada ZRR. Seeing as drops were disabled because of the 24-7 stream, my assumption, there should be part of the Discord where you can apply to get whitelisted for drops, where you would have to show your Twitch account to prevent anyone from being a 24-7 account, as I think drops very much helped all streamers who stream on drop days. A few things that I have to say about this one. The first thing is that it does not actually help the streamers. First off, it doesn't actually help the streamer as they just get viewers who don't even care about them and usually just put it in the background and do something else on like a laptop or a computer. And they don't get longevity because of this, they just get a bunch of boosted viewers and nobody returns for their next stream. Secondly, the devs should honestly just scrap drops at this point as they change the quick sell value of collectibles or drops as in the craftable items which are now only be able to sold for 5kr if they were to change it up and they still wanted to do drops maybe they have a weekly skin where if you watch only two hours on like the tuesday that they have right now then that could be the drop but nobody really wants these craftable skins in fact i don't even get the drops as it just has never been worth it I honestly miss when they had good drops such as the custom skins for the individual streamers and everybody had to input theirs, but maybe I'm just stuck in the past, you never can tell. Hookage with a banger suggestion right here of there should be an option to accept requests automatically for open clans instead of going in and accepting everyone manually. Probably the best suggestion of this week as I just had an experience with this as a lot of people hadn't actually been requesting to join my clan, which by the way is short, it's called Agon, I accept literally everyone, but that's not really the point here. The point is that I had six people actually requesting to join, and I did not actually know that they had requested. Maybe even if it gives you like an inbox ping, then that would at least help. Even if it's just a setting, it would definitely be very helpful. We have Rex here. I don't want to read his suggestion. He put like five suggestions into one. However, I did want to touch on the fact that he should remove the free KR. Just don't click on it if you don't want it. And the amount of KR is actually decent for the amount of time that you actually have to use and watch the ad for. Also depends on the ad. However, you can get some very quick ads at like 15 seconds long for 5KR, which is a lot better than in game for a lot of players. I hope you guys enjoyed those suggestions. If you did, make sure to join my Discord server. It's in the description box right down below. 
we have some giveaways and I'm working on a trick shot event maybe by the end of this month that will be out so you guys can enter into that then with massive prizes probably my biggest prizes yet anyways I'll see you in the next one I've been playing some clunker Grinding so hard my hair hurts My opponents might need a doctor Cause you know I'm too good with the sniper